a long time ago, First time I, saw you, I had a big, fat Greek wedding. Now my daughter is all grown up. I hope you apply to some local colleges, too. Why do parents always say dream big when they really mean not too big? Ian and I are just trying to find a minute to ourselves. How about another date tonight? Men love confidence. <sighs> and afterward, oh, satin. Yeah. You're welcome. You look pretty. What are you doing? Dad! And my family is still too close. You don't have a house to do that? Glad to have you back. Thank you. Why did we have to wait so long? Well, the truth is that during the fun success of the first film, uh, my very close friends knew, including John, that I was hiding a very secret thing, that I was trying to be a mom. And um, seven years ago, I became a mom. So all these emotions that I didn't know how to write for the sequel suddenly came flooding at me. And on my daughter's first day of kindergarten, somebody said something that made me realize I would never want my daughter to leave me. Another woman talked about her going away to college. And I went, what? And I was so shocked at how quickly that would happen that I realized I have turned into my own mother. Family's always in my business. Keep your eyeballs open for a nice Greek boy so one day you can make babies. They follow me everywhere. Hey, hey. I need some air. Your mom felt the same way about being Greek. Florida, Texas, New York. These are the colleges I'm applying to. Why do you want to leave me? <laughs> so, um, just following up on that one, so you're going to be just as protective, you think? Uh-huh. <laughs> so yeah. she's not going to be allowed to date? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's calling, a Greek person. No, she's just not allowed to date, period. She always said, you know, they start talking in like second and third grade about who they're going to marry. I said, listen, you don't even, don't even think about marriage until you finish medical school, pay off your student loan, buy your parents a house, and then you can think about getting married. <laughs> So she's never going to get married. That's fair <laughs> enough. So um, we'll see in the movie the constitution of marriage. It might not actually be something we all want to head towards it at this moment. Do you think society is changing a little bit the way how it used to be? I do. I mean, yeah. here in California, there's a lot of fights uh, on who you're allowed to marry and who you're supposed to marry. And right. Things like that. I've never been married. I'm not sure I would. I'm not for or against it. It's I've never been parachuting. I'm not for or against it. It just has not happened in my life yet. Uh, what do you think? That's an excellent way to put it. I truly believe that something happened to us with the first film that people thought that we were sending a message that you have to get married and hopefully, you know, make babies. And I layered messages in this yes. one that you do not. And it is a personal choice because I'm, I'm, I really believe, number one, if you want to get married, it is your right. Any walk of life, it is your right to get married. But it's not for everybody. I picked it up and that's why I was saying it, because mm -hmm. I really agree that society is going this way. Yeah. You know, it's, it's okay. It's okay. But I mean, okay, so you've been 14 years in a relationship, you've been married for 23 years. So, yeah. okay, what's the secret of a working relationship? We cheat with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps it fresh. <laughs> I know I do have a secret, but it's, yeah, what is it, it? it's a secret. I can't tell you. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. For my secret to work, everyone else has to fail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it works. Pardon? And then it works. And then it works, <laughs> yes. No, but I mean, if you would give advice to anybody, like if your best friend would get married now, let's say, uh -huh. um, in a Greek wedding or not in a Greek wedding, whatever, um, what advice would you give them? Uh, I guess I would only advise them on whether to serve chicken or fish or steak at the wedding. <laughs> but I wouldn't give them life advice because every marriage is different. I don't give advice either. I've been to weddings where I know this is not going to be a marriage in two years. But I'm not going to be the one to say <laughs> anything about it. It's not my place. Yeah. Uh, you can definitely tell those ones, huh? I'm, yeah, if you were making a bad choice, I'm not going to be able to sway you. You're just going to hate me if I say anything. My girlfriend stopped talking to me because on the night of her wedding, we all sat her down and said, listen, your fiancé has been cheating on you for years. There's a list of women. One of them is here. And she got so angry at us and didn't talk to us and it disinvited us from the wedding, fair enough. And then three years later, she called and said, okay, I'm out of that marriage. And we were friends again. But I still would do it again. I'm, I'm honest to the point of annoyance. I would tell people, 
So, I don't know. I guess we're different. Not me. No? <laughs> I'm going to play it safe. <laughs> What's you find out yourself, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> you find out what everybody else knows. Good luck. That's not very friendly. Secret smile on the bridesmaid's face. I know why. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very friendly. <laughs> What's the best advice you ever got from anybody? Might be for your career, for your life, for anything. Um, I actually, it's not advice, but it's a quote that I read that said, well-behaved women seldom make history. That really appeals to me because I think you gotta make some noise to make a difference. I like that. Yeah. I, uh, God, I don't know. I, re I do remember my dad was a, uh, was a very smart man, a, a hard-working blue-collar man. A watchmaker and a nuclear welder. But and a good-looking guy, too. John has sent me pictures of him. Fantastic. <laughs> Handsome guy. And, and But we like to watch TV together. And I remember I saw a very famous... We saw a very famous person on there. Uh, I believe it was an actor complaining about this and that. And I remember my dad said, I wish I had his problems. And it registered to me that, yeah, we don't want to hear you complaining about your problems if you're a rich guy wearing a tux on TV. Yeah. And so I think I took that advice and you will never hear me complain about anything now that I'm in the public eye on camera. My friends get an earful. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's all peaches and cream on camera for me being in the public eye. That's an important lesson I learned from my My dad. mom said that to me too one time, way before everyone had cell phones and their cameras. My mom used to say, you should live your life as if a video camera is on you at all times. Wow. wow. Is that good advice? She also told me this, there is no feeling of satisfaction that comes more than having a black tie dress in your closet and a moussaka in your freezer. <laughs> Payback. But there's always... You're not married! What did Maria say? You know how upset she'll be. A few surprises. I'm a hippie! <laughs> Now, my family has come together. Who says a woman has to be married? You. All our lives. The wedding is on! To pull off another... Beautiful. Big, fat, Greek wedding. But you got to remember! Oh, so hey! But you got to remember! Even though I'm taking a step back, I will always be right here. Why aren't you in Greek love? Every day of my life is Greek Club. Take yeah, a take photo! A All right, pull my neck. One, two, pull! To get to the